So this video is still on vectors on vector spaces and we are on a series of uh, revision on the summation symbol. In this video we are asked if the summation is or not a linear meaning linear that if the summation from k equals 1 to n of f of k plus g of k be very careful with the brackets here uh, because if you don't have brackets here this is a totally different meaning because if you don't have brackets the, it's like this right because j of of k will not be here and and you will get a totally different result here okay so please be very careful to show what the argument of the summation is okay let us see if the summation of f of k plus g of k is equal to, of this, to the summation of k plus the summation of j of k okay okay for this proof we are going to use induction okay so let us see what happens for n equals 1 so for n equals 1 we have so for n equals 1 we have the summation from k equals 1 to n equals 1 of f of k plus g of k and what is this well k beginning in 1 so we have f of 1 plus g of 1 plus g of 1 and since this ends in 1 it's over well but since this is over this is like the um, summation of k of 1 till 1 of f of k right that's what we have here right from 1 to 1 the summation plus the summation from k equals 1 to n 1 of g of k okay so all this is true if n equals 1 checked okay question is that uh, true for n greater than 1 well okay okay so first we admit that n is true for a fixed n okay so if n is a fixed value this is our hypothesis okay n so let us see if this works for n minus 1 is this going to work or not okay what is n minus 1 First we see that the, the question asked the summation from k equals 1 to n of f of k plus g of k is equal if I take one member less. So I took from here, I took f of n, so f of n is lacking here and g of n is lacking here too okay so now this is okay these two are totally equal i hope you can see that okay because this goes to n but i took n minus one so i took f of n plus g of f of n plus g of n f so adding to this f of n plus g of n they are both equal okay do not forget in one of the previous video I mentioned that s of n equals s of n minus 1 plus um, I'm using n right plus f of n do not forget this okay so now 
it's the very good time to use that here. Okay, now that we use this, um, I think this part is a bit confusing, you see. But you can also think that you could do this over and over, right? Till k equals 1. So what you would get here would be, so you could do some sort of backwards induction, okay? And go back and back and you will end up with this, this addition here. So this one would be at the end, if you keep on, you would have this one plus f of n and this one plus g of n. But what is all this? This is nothing but the sum of f of k plus the sum of g of k, where k begins in 1 and ends in n, this is very important in the proof, and here k begins in 1 and ends in n, okay, and this concludes the proof. So the sum from k equals 1 to n of f of k plus g of k equals the sum from k equals 1 to n of f of k plus the sum from k equals 1 to n of g, g of k. And we could also prove that the sum of k equals 1 to n of c multiplying f of k equals c of the sum of f of k. This is really easy. Um, you can do that using induction or uh, many ways to prove this. This is really easy because the, the sum as c of f k from 1 to n will be c of f1 plus c of f2 plus c of fn, right? But now you can put c, um, you can factor c out and you have f1 plus f2 plus fn, right? And what is this? This is c times k beginning in 1, ending in n of f of k. OK, so proof 2. OK, so yes, um, the summation is a linear operation.